All right, everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan. I'm gonna do a double check here and uh, start my video a little late today because uh, you know, I was catching up a lot on the video game maintenance. I was listening to a lot of Jesse Lee Peterson, um, you know, and my, of course, the cryptocurrency stuff. Um, yeah, also just doing more research because, uh, I don't know, quite a lot has happened since last night. So, uh, just personal stuff, right? Uh, but, uh, I guess before we, uh, go into that, uh, so an update would be, uh, I was thinking about, because I think I briefly mentioned it yesterday, but obviously that video was like 50 minutes long. So, you know, I had to try to cut it short, <laughs> cut it short. So I was thinking, how do I make, uh, my, uh, because now that I've decided that my, the show for the video game is basically, uh, going to be an animated series, because that way, yeah, I did explain this. Because basically what they, um, whatchamacallit, with, uh, actually, you know what, let's actually go here. So basically, yeah, because like, uh, if I do a real life action thing, like you see me as I am now, then I'm very vulnerable medium to long term to, you know, actors, you know, going crazy, their egos are out of control, they want a lot more money, blah, 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 and it's just very annoying, right? Uh, so I said, okay, let's do animated series. So I was like, you know, it's gonna be pretty hard to get like Disney style stuff. But what about video game engines? Because right, video game engines look pretty awesome like this. So I kept thinking, okay, so I probably have to do like Unreal, uh, Unreal Tournament engine. Then I found out that Unity actually has been doing um, films and short films using their three D engine right here. And now, like, I can see why God has guided me back to the programming path. Because now I can actually, you know, uh, what is this? I watched Avengers Endgame in 0.25x speed, and here's what I found. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know, because of copyright issues, right, or potential ones, I don't want to go too crazy. I mean, there, I probably won't get in trouble with the Unity guys, but, hey, let's face it, it's me, right? So, so here you can actually see a pretty good, realistic look. Like, this is more than perfect for what I want, and more importantly, because we're using this, I can have the characters look pretty much exactly the same. So I, in the background, I can change the actors and actresses as they drop in and drop out, right? But, you know, um, it'll be a lot easier for me to get, like, you know, actors or actresses, the replacements, to sound very similar to whatever character that's supposed to play. So I don't have to worry about that anymore, right? Because I don't want a Game of Thrones situation where, like, they had to... I forgot the name of the guy, but they had this minor character, and they had to change the uh, actor, like, three, four times. Like, and I noticed that, right? Now, the good news is it was a minor character, so that's why Game of Thrones didn't really give a shit. But imagine if you had the major characters doing that, because that's the problem I ran into when I was making my first movie, and I want to avoid that. So this solves all the problems that I have. Uh, and, and, like, I had no idea that Unity actually did this. And so I just subscribed to them on YouTube, and that, that movie was made in 2016. This one was made two weeks ago, right? And it's, like, insane. It looks so real, right? This is the Heretic, a sci-fi short film created with Unity 2019.3. Yeah, that's the current build that we have uh, that I'm using. This is the most up-to-date. Uh, we call it we call it a build, but this is basically the latest version. Right? That's uh, that's the normie casual speak. Uh, and the reason why I think it's called build is when I you know uh, convert my code into computer programs. Uh, the process of that is called com no, not compiling. It's actually called building the software or something like that. So I mean, that's what well, that's why. Yeah, this is perfect. I can make the I can make my show like this. In fact, I might like it so much that maybe I'll just make all my movies <laughs> uh, through this. Though, of course, uh, I'm obviously going to want to hire professionals to do this for me. All right. So uh, so what I'll, so I'll probably do this in two phases. One is. Well, actually, three phases. One is I have four. First is I have to have to write up the story, right? A uh, 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 story treatment. I forgot what it was called, but basically you summarize each of the scenes. So I forgot what that was called. I think that's the treatment. Uh, there, there was a specific term. It's been a while since I did filmmaking, but that's what I have to do, right? And then, of course, copyright, patent it, whatever. Then I have to eventually spend some money, try to get some people to like, this is going to be like a couple years from now. It's not going to be now, but it's definitely something I don't have to think of, right? Because 
Escape from Tarkov did not start doing their, uh, you know, short films for Tarkov until like two, three years later. Maybe even four years, right? They wait till the game was developed. So it's going to be the same thing for me. So yeah, then I have to like, I guess, get artists, right? And then chances are I'll probably do both the artist, like to do the rendering uh, for the graphics and the guy who's going to do this for me, the director or whatever. And then... And then that'll be the second phase. And then I guess depending on the situation, you know, we will hire the actors and actresses for the for the voice acting. And obviously we want them to be kind of, you know, long term. The problem is if like two, three, four years later, right, they get super famous or my, more, or more likely my shit gets super famous, then they get famous as a result. And then they come back and they're like, hey, we kind of want more, a lot more money. It's like, well, all right. But it's like, you know, okay, now you're demanding like $1 million dollars it's like okay, you know, I'm I'm gonna pass. Right? <laughs> We're gonna pass, all right. Uh, so yeah, but the good news is, you know, like Jesse Lee Peterson taught in his church, you know, trust to God, just try not to worry about it too much. Ideally, don't worry about it at all, and then uh, you know, he'll he'll take care of everything and guide you. And uh, yeah, I'm more than satisfied with uh, with how this is all uh, uh, going. So. Um, yeah, and then the other thing is, uh, for some reason, old World of Warcraft buddy that I used to play uh, uh, Raided Battlegrounds with, um, he actually contacted me out of the blue yesterday. Uh, and then, uh, I, mean, I don't want to actually dox him, but, you know, he's kind of famous-ish, you know, at least in the past. You know, now he's more of a quiet person, right? I actually found out he's actually a, a, a very young college student. See, he's very similar to uh, Nick Fuentes, right? So... Basically, uh, you know, I, you know, we haven't talked like in years, uh, and I always wonder, you know, God always had this guy talk to me for some reason. Yeah, but I found out he's a white male in college, so I think you all can understand, you know, <laughs> how bad of a situation that is. So anyway, I red pilled him a little bit, um, but I'm I'm taking it slow because I don't know his situation. I obviously don't know him personally, at least not yet. So. You know, just like God is patient and slow with everybody, right? You know, I'm trying to respect the same process because, again, there's a lot of variables I do not know. So even, even if I did know everything, I probably would still be like, oh, okay, here are all his limitations, all her limitations. Let's, you know, uh, uh, let's just drip feed the info, right? You know what? Because what I don't want is the person getting red pilled so much, so fast. Then he goes cr a little too crazy with the courage, and then, like, you know, his life gets ruined, or her life gets ruined. So, like, you're like, oh, I told the truth, but I lost my job, now I have nothing. And then, you know, you see him on Twitter complaining about it. It's very sad, but that's also why we got to be more careful, you know? I mean, I know we want justice, but, you know, it's, uh, I know I definitely do. <sighs> but it'll come. It'll come, and uh, you know we just gotta improve ourselves and just bide our time while building up for the eventual uh, moment. And uh, I'm pretty sure Nick Fuentes is gonna be the tip of the spear at this point, because the new right or the fake right sure as hell ain't gonna do it. So uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah. So God's giving me more, a little more responsibility you now. So it's uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and today I get to finally finish the introduction to multiplayer programming course. Oh God! So that so that I'll, then tomorrow I'll take coding off the day off for coding because it's Sunday. I just yeah. I mean it's like well God took Sunday off. Maybe I'll do the same thing. I mean I'm already exhausted anyway mentally, right? So uh, what you call it? Yeah. And then after that I actually start to start programming the 3D battle royale. That'll be, so we'll finally get into the fun stuff, right? So, uh, yeah, so I still can't believe it actually doesn't take that many hours. Like, I, I play games like PUBG or Fortnite, you know, you see those big battle royales. I'm like, my God, that must take so much code. But no, you can make your own battle royale, your cra a crappy looking one for like three, four hours. It's like, what? <laughs> it, it's, it's, really, it's, truly, it's truly incredible what technology can do. Uh, so hopefully more conservatives especially uh, start uh, embracing it, right? So anyway, uh, so today's a good day, uh, you know, because I was having a little bit of trouble with, um, well, not really a lot of trouble, but I'm like, yeah, you know, we've been here like a million times. So I was like, you know, just don't worry too much about the 404 coin price, you know, and just let God handle it. And uh, yeah, we're doing, we're doing pretty well, you know, so it's very good. 
So Bitcoin's at seven for this week. So it looks like normal interest is still going to mostly remain low. In fact, I haven't even bothered to check Bitcoin versus Trump. I guess I just don't really care anymore. Also, if you look at Trump recently, he's been, he's he's looking very like tired. You know, it's like I don't think he's been getting a lot of sleep. Um, so it's kind of interesting. So Bitcoin dominance is at 63.6%, so it's going down. That's very good. 24-hour volume is 130.7 billion. Very, also very good. Uh, Bitcoin's at 98.17, so crypto is still definitely getting ready to go back up. So far, everything's just flatlining upwards. It's the ideal situation. Uh, Bitcoin SV is up 16.58%, so it's jumping. Uh, for some reason, Bitcoin Cash is not, so... Yeah, I guess if you wanted to gamble, you would probably just buy both and then just, you know, just ride them all both out. Uh, Litecoin is up, I don't know, for some reason, this thing is only up 3%, but it feels like it's way, it's worth way more now. Oh, well, either way, it's at $75.92, so I ain't complaining. You know, it's like, uh, remember, if um, we go back to my original, very first uh, Bitcoin clown world video or something similar to that uh, or actually my pinned video tweet on my twitter i said that i had a uh, insurance policy for crypto so basically no matter what happens all i have to do is stay alive don't get into trouble don't get mentally incapacitated and then you know my insurance policy of uh i, I never revealed and i won't my uh, uh you know my litecoin buy and i just put it in the irs a specific designated uh, address so that when I sell it, you know, I tell the IRS, hey, I held this thing for like two, three, four years or whatever, like give me the 20% max tax rate. All right. So basically, <clears throat> so basically, uh, I'm, uh, <clears throat> for a very small amount of money, well, relative to me, uh, you know, I actually think, you know, if we play our cards right, if Bitcoin, Bitcoin, if Litecoin hits 60 to $100,000, and at that point, Bitcoin's probably going to be a million dollars and probably the peak before it crashes. Yeah, you know, make probably make five, ten million dollars. Right. And then with that money, uh, I'm obviously going to spend like fifty thousand dollars of the five to ten million dollars because who cares? Right. It's 50 grand at that point. It's not even a fraction of a percent, I think. And then I short the markets. Right. And that's what we're all going to do. Right. Which is why we're looking at, uh, you know, Ledger X can gbtc because we need to be able to short the market in a safe manner so we can uh, capture even several more million dollars on the way down because we because at this point you should probably know like you know yeah bitcoin crypto they tank very quickly and they tank very hard like you know upwards to like what 80 90 percent of the value so yeah imagine capturing all that money right i mean you're you're, you're gonna like your world's gonna your worldview is gonna change or at least when it comes to money Technically, your worldview is supposed to change when you become a born again Christian and then you forgive your mom and father for all the stupid shit they did to you. Yeah, that's what uh, Jesse Lee Peterson said. <clears throat> Jesse Lee Peterson. Yeah, I keep I keep almost wanting, I keep almost thinking I'm going to call him Jordan Lee Peterson. You know, the Jordan Peterson guy. It's like it's like yeah, but yeah. So it's actually pretty cool. So I think what I have to actually do, because I can't really communicate with my mom and dad, because I never actually took the title on <laughs> Chinese. I'll have to actually use my Google Translate and do English, English text to Mandarin voice to try to tell my mom and dad I forgive them. So it'll be like, yeah. and then I know exactly what's gonna happen. They're like, oh, it's okay, so we still love you. And then they're gonna nag me to death, like. You gotta stay in New York. Don't go to Florida. It's like ugh, okay. Well, like, you know what? I did my job. God, it rest is up to you, All right? And that's how that's how God wants it. So you know, my hands are my, my hands are clean because I because I want to because I'm curious. Like um, oh yeah, I did say like coins at seventy five ninety two because I'm curious. Like uh, he said, the, the, your whole world will open up once you do that. You know, well my own world's already quite open, so might as well just you know open uh, slam the doors wide open then because <laughs> yeah, why not i think i can handle it i mean god's already giving me a lot of info to work with so it's uh you know it's all working out really nice it's all working out really nice so dog coins at 393.4 million market cap it is up 17.44 percent it is up sharply so we're gonna actually jump ahead um let me see yeah, 
because a lot of my order is in the 6200 when no one is buying on uh, South Exchange. So, all right, you know what? I am going to do an order real fast then because I'm just going to take the dog coin now. Uh, so the problem is I think the compound coin people are just not, um, they're just not, uh, whatchamacallit. I mean, they're just too focused on the crypto and the money, you know, they're not thinking uh, beyond, you know, and that's why the coin's suffering, which is why I'm not going to be supporting the coin, right? I mean, we already have our, you know, our coins over here to worry about. But anyway, it's good. Dog coin is up sharply. Uh, the alt coins are finally rising. Uh, I don't know what this kick token is. It might have something to do with the uh, kick social media app, I think. Uh, so it's, yeah, so basically it's just, you know, flavor of the day, uh, fad of the day, right? F-A-D, right? It's the, fa it's the fad cryptocurrency of the day. So Steam is at, no, I mean, Kick is pretty big though. So, so Steam is at 20.14 cents, down 1.64%, but still worth the, you know, an RN amount. So basically all the old coins that I care about are up a lot or a good amount. No options here, no options here. Uh, so yeah, we're looking pretty good. Uh, JMC coin, uh, I think the thing is still sinking. Um, and Mitch still has some personal things to deal with, so... Uh, are you, are you serious? Processing. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, what is wrong with this thing? Um... Really? I see May, I see April. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Mitch really has to, you know, take care of his problem real quick and then try to update the block explorer. This thing is just terrible. But, oh well, either way, at least JMC for now is getting the benefit. It's three to four. Um, so, uh, because nobody can deposit, then uh, all people can do is just buy this thing. But it's actually a problem because if people want to buy a large amount, but they know they cannot bring it out, then there's no point in buying it. So that's probably harming the coin too. Uh, but yeah, the big story, of course, is 404 coin. It is uh, doing fantastic. It's at uh, it's actually at 18 to 21. Um, I saw last night that basically uh, the sell orders were just all disappearing. So now I think we'll finally because uh, 404 coin is due for going up a lot in price, right? So yeah, let's hope it stay at at least 18 to 21. I don't know if it'll ever go back to 30. Uh, it's possible. Uh, it's possible. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but either way, I I'm finally glad that it's finally over. Uh, for now. 2x2 uh, two two coin remains pretty stable. 75 to 81. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, what should we call it? Yeah, I mean, it's not much to say. It's, uh, it's stable. <laughs> And the compound coin, uh, yeah, it's like, I don't know why it's just like someone bought a lot and then no one's ever bought again. So, you know, it's basically, it's probably just worth 4110 and an unknown amount upwards. Um, you know, I guess if you're willing to be patient, you probably could get up to 8,700 Satoshis of a dog coin for your compound coin. But in my case, I just want the dog coin right now, especially since it's just jumped. What was it today? 17, 17.44%. Uh, 17 so, you know, the good news is at least the price floor is doesn't seem to budge much from 4100. So, at least you're guaranteed to always get 4100 satoshis of a dog coin per compound coin. At least for now. So, it's very nice there yeah, cuz look at look at these uh yeah, if you go all the way down to 4000, there's like 807 million compound coins. So, so this definitely is the price floor uh for compound. So, you know, it's nice and stable. All right, so it's, today is Saturday. I don't really feel like you're reading any of the news. Um, so everything's always going to be slow anyway. Uh, Coinbase will be digital gold in 93 days. So yeah, because basically it's Bitcoin's halving. Uh, we'll see about that. All right. uh, if anything, people are gonna, a lot of people are going to think this, and then they're going to uh, start the bull run for this. And then it'll become a bubble. That's what we're waiting on. Then you got Signal Bitcoin's bomb at 64. Uh, huh? Why back cause a recession? How would it affect Bitcoin? No. First of all, the globalists, I always wondered about this, but no, the globalists will not want to do this, not anymore. Because if they tank the economy and it makes people uh, very angry, very populist, and uh, ba basically vote Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump, they won't go for the establishment anymore. 
Uh, in the past, the globals used to be able to do that, but I think what's changed is social media and the internet. So, uh, so their ability to control information and therefore the truth is uh, basically gone. Bitcoin Depot Network hits 500 kiosks as Johnny Litecoin shows off coin flip adoption. I don't know who that is. Um, Bitcoin SV and BCH are surging with their howlings a month before Bitcoin. All right, very good. Appealing to normies. Advanced, advancing Bitcoin starts with better UX. She looks all right looking. Uh, KFC, I saw that article yesterday. Tesla, okay. So a lot of these things look pretty old. Uh, okay. Uh, this was yesterday's article. So let's take a look over here. I gotta drink some water. I'm running, I'm really running out of breath. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I gotta manage my bit heroes here. Bitcoin Depot Network hits five. All right, we saw that already. Uh, XRP is beating Bitcoin in 2020, but this crypto oil is still betting. Uh, doesn't really matter. Just just pick any of the major cryptocurrencies on top. That is not a fad coin, right? You know, uh, what does that fad actually stand for? Flavor of the day. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Fad stands for flavor of the day. Yeah. So basically, just avoid the flavor of the day cryptos because, like, they're on the top coin market cap, and then like a week later they disappear, never to be seen from again. Oh yeah. By the way, I bought the I bought this giant one gallon water plastic bottle from Amazon. It's supposed to be like chemical and BPA free. So. Basically, it's not it's not going to have like that crazy plastic seeping into your water kind of thing. Because I think that was a problem with my Burger King cup that I was using for so long, too. So it was slowly seeping uh, whatever the hell those plastic or whatever Burger King cups are made out of uh, stuff into my water. And possibly, uh, you know, going to cause me cancer or increasing my inflammation or whatever. Which, by the way, my inflammation has gotten a lot better now. Um so uh because I, I oh yeah because two days ago i weighed myself i dropped down to 172.2 i was actually pretty shocked i was like thank god finally um which makes me wonder if i actually lift weights before i actually eat food i actually get extremely hungry right i get that really like i gotta eat right now like really crazy hunger um but if i have that i kind of wonder does that actually burn a lot more fat all right that's what I'm kind of wondering, because maybe I can actually use it as a, like a cheat sheet. The problem is I really don't like that feeling. Like I really go like mentally, like like it's like a basically beast instinct mode, right? Because like your body really thinks if you don't eat now, we're dead, <laughs> you know. So and, and it's like okay, I gotta eat. So it's like, huh. but either way, you know, I'm slimming down, and it finally looks like you know the visceral fat or whatever the general subcontinuous fat or all that fat is just you know starting to slowly slip away. And, you know, my body's thanking me for it, you know, so, yeah. Bitcoin uh, roadmap to a... Australia releases 52-page blockchain roadmap to power its future economy. Uh, Australia is going all in. I kind of don't want to read it, but how long is the article? All right, it's kind of short. All right, so, because I think I'm just going to just put this in the title. Uh, and that's okay. So yeah, Saturdays, there's not a lot of things. So overall, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, James C. Coin really should be going up a lot probably, but it's not because of the stupid wallet maintenance shit. And because the wallet is just not, oh, wow. Do we have a new update? Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Hey, look, live, live, you know, someone's buying up a ton of 404 coin. Now we're up to 21 to 22 for sure. Hey. Hey, see, you see, I was right. I was right, as I always am. Well, most of the time. Uh, so this is a 21.4 million thing. So if I really wanted to, I could try setting an order for 23, actually. Um, I don't know. Do I really want to gamble with that? Because I kind of want to take advantage of this 21, you know, because I really want to buy some, you know, uh, more Litecoin, especially since I need some money. So oh, I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, but anyway, uh, God, this is so nice. All right. Yeah, because as long as the price is kind of reasonable for 404, yeah, I mean, 
it's tough because I only have because I only have to, I only have I will only have enough euros to work with, right? So I got to pick one coin to work with. And then once I can make more money, then I could spend another 20,000 euros to get the other two cryptocurrencies on coin payments. Or I might still use Exala. I'll have, I'll, I'll have to see. Uh, all right. So Australia is going all in on blockchain. They have a 52-page framework on how they're going to do it. Uh, there's going to be a national blockchain roadmap. All right. So Australia is going, getting into Australia coin, essentially. Uh, blockchain is often a finance uh, fintech thing uh, with, it's because of the association with Bitcoin. Da, da, da. However, its application for the purpose of tracking and recording data can add value in many sectors: agriculture, healthcare, real estate, retail, just to name a few. Blockchain tech is predicted to generate an annual business of over 175 billion by 2025. That's actually a, a very low estimate. That's too low. In excess of few, three trillion by 2030. This is, well, yeah, this is more believable. Um, Garnet's investments have been improving blockchain tech, developing international standards. It looks like I picked a really good time to get back into programming. Like, you know, I was too young to get into dot com. Uh, I was manipulated and lied to during my college years, so I could not take advantage of the real estate bust. I got my first taste of taking advantage of a new thing, which in this case was Bitcoin, right? And now I moved out of my parents, you know, years ago, thanks to directly God and Bitcoin, right? So now it's my turn to become like Jack Dorsey, except hopefully not as big of a censoring. Well, actually, I'll probably actually will have to heavily censor my forum, but I'm also not running a free speech platform. If I were running a free speech platform, then I would actually be doing something different. Uh, but I don't have to do that because, you know, Gab and Andrew Torba do that. Um, so, uh, but well, yeah, but basically I become the next tech titan. Um, yeah, and it'll be kind of nice to, you know, you know, go up against big tech in Silicon Valley, right? So there's Silicon Valley in California. Well, we're going to have Temple, Florida, I guess, in Florida. But I still have to be careful, though, because I'm going to be introducing a major, a major destabilizing element, right? Because with technology, that basically means you're going to be bringing a lot of left, left, left leaning thinking people who are just going to always vote Democrat. So I definitely need to figure out got to get more conservatives into this, right? So, because uh, I have to hire people, right? So, you know, so I'm cut. So it's like, hey, conservatives better get in on this, right? You know, so yeah, start learning to code. I'm actually serious about that. Australia's ability to capitalize on our current standing and to realize a potential blockchain while domestically in our place. Um, okay, we need efficient regulation standards. Uh, we need skills and capabilities that can drive innovation. That would be me. We need strong international investment and collaboration. I'll take the collaboration, but I don't think I'll be taking international money. Because the second I do that, I'm now owned by all those globalist assholes. So that's what I want to avoid. Oh, oh there's more to this article. That's what I want to avoid. Last year, China, yeah, Jinping wants to do a uh, China coin, blah, 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 blah. Uh, wait, last week, Heath Harbert, CFTC commissioner or chairman, says he wants the U.S. to take the digital lead on assets and blockchain. Yeah, uh, but I mean, we're kind of a fallen country run by um, a certain group of globalists that cannot be named or criticized for now. Uh, they're making sure that we're, you know, I mean, they're kind of preoccupied with Bernie Sanders and Trump, but um, yeah, I mean, they just don't really care about crypto. Um, I guess some of the, I guess some of the globalists, you know, do hate it, like J.P. Morgan, but there's more than there's more, way more people that really love blockchain, kind of like how people love uh, the internet. So I think we'll be all right for now. Blockchain is now the most in-demand skill on the planet, according to LinkedIn. Yeah, no, it works for me. All right, so uh, I really don't like that thumbnail. Oh, this is a much better thumbnail. All right, so Australia. So I think the title will be Australia go, go, goes all in on blockchain. So I think we'll go with that. Hey, we're twenty nine minutes. We're like it's a short video for once. All right, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash the Lemon Factor BTC. So now that the world is becoming more clear to me, um, yeah, I can already see a see far ahead what what needs to be done. And uh, now that all the pieces, oops, now that all the pieces are coming together very nicely, 
uh, yeah, I guess I don't have to really worry about much. You know, I just have to keep learning, keep coding, you know, make my game. You know, it'll start off kind of crappy looking, right? Because honestly, I'm just a one man show. But I'm definitely going to have to like take pictures so that if I ever, if probably if I ever do become like a major, ultra big, you know, video game company studio, I can always have like those nice little flashback pictures. And it's posted on, on my Twitter or whatever. It's like, hey, a blast from the past, right? You know, like when I first launched the game, it looked like this. Uh, this is what I looked like. <laughs> well, so it's it's going to be kind of cool, right? Because I also don't really have a tendency to take a lot of pictures at all. So, like, I kind of need to start doing that, right? Because one day I'm going to get old, right? Unless we invent, um, well, unless we perfect anti-aging technology, right? And you can live forever. Uh, you know, I'm gonna want a record of all these cool things I did in the past, right? Because, uh, because I also had some pictures from like when I made my movie. The problem is I don't have access to a lot of it for some reason, so I gotta make sure I, uh, you know, uh, don't make that same mistake this time around. So, uh, anyway, enjoy the rest of your day or night. Enjoy the gains. In fact, uh, wow. Uh, I don't know. I think I might just take advantage of just set my thing to twenty, right? And then uh, just, just. Just, just take, uh, just take the quick money, right? So, but yeah, uh, I guess I'll have to update again. So yeah, I already said twenty-one to twenty-three. Uh, then after that, um, uh, oh, <laughs> look at that! Someone's already put in uh, something here. Uh, it definitely won't go above. I mean, maybe go thirty to forty max, but that's at that point, that's probably buying too much. So I would think uh, the twenties should be a, the twenties, twenty to twenty-nine will be a good range. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be nice. Uh, anyway, enjoy your day or night. I will see you all in tomorrow's videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, let's actually refresh you. Uh, eh. 404 Coin, that's yeah, not a whole lot of views. And here's our thumbnail.